Hello everybody and welcome along to the first of what I hope will be many episodes of a series I'm going to call Shrinanigans. Uh, basically what the series is about is a series of life hacks um, for shrines. Jeez, it's freezing up here. We're on Satori Mountain and we're about to do the Moglatan Shrine, otherwise known as Synchronized Swinging, which sounds a lot more kinky than it actually is. So let's get straight into it. I'm your host Nick, um, if, you're f if it's your first time finding me, check out my channel, I've got a bunch of Zelda content and a bunch of content that isn't Zelda, it's a bit of a variety show, hopefully something there to entertain you all. But here we are, coming down into the shrine, and um, this is a, a three stage shrine, so the first part there's not really any trick to it, just, just kind of do it before that swing loses any momentum. Um, this isn't where the hack is, and the hack's fairly simple when you see it, you'll be kicking yourself. Whoa, nice. Here we are, we're entering the second stage of the shrine. And um, actually, I've never seen anyone play this without arrows. I think if you got here you'd be a little bit stuck. You might have to throw a couple of weapons. And I think this is a bow. If I remember. No, it's a spear. I think you get a bow here as well. Oh, we don't need that. Okay, here is the hack. See, what the shrine wants you to do is swing these balls like this. Let them precariously sort of swing in front of you and then walk through without getting smashed in the head like that. But there's an infinitely easier way to do this shrine. <laughs> and that's just wrapping these balls around here <laughs> like that. Oh my god. So you can do this with each one of these, they all hang from a, some of them don't have enough clearance, so you have to pull it back, push it over, and just weave it around. And it's really just that simple. No one said that becoming a hero had to be a difficult, challenging path. And uh, you know, these are the kinds of simple hacks that will really get you killing Ganon in no time. This guy here, this guy here, you can even put him up there. There he goes, he's over, he's around. And just that one, that one pass is enough to stop it from crushing you dead. Oh good, it's stuck. And you can finally get that bow you've always wanted, if you have room for it. And yeah, that's really all there is to this shrine. Hopefully that makes your, makes your playthrough a lot more easy. Where do you think you're going? And um, that's it for this video. So thanks for watching. Um, if you like this and you want to see more content like it, just feel free to subscribe. I've got a couple more shrinanigans coming along. Um, some obvious ones and hopefully some not so obvious ones. Um, if you have any of your own that you'd like to see made into a video, feel free to drop it in the comments as well. I'd love any input that you have. Any obvious ones that'd be interesting to see. So yeah, go ahead and do that. And I am going to not burn myself to death, uh, but I'm going to go meet this this monk here who's going to give me some orbs. Alright guys, I'll catch you guys later.